Hey guys, welcome to my test server video. Today I'm going to be mainly focusing on passive modules, explaining that. So it's, um, compared to the active modules, passive modules trigger automatically under cer certain conditions, uh, sufficient condition. And here are the seven uh, passive module, Last Stand, Battleborn, uh, Deathmark, Armor, and heavy armor kit, a nuclear and thermo nuclear reactor. So these um, overlapping ones are the same ones, but w one of them you can only level up to three, level three, and one of them we can level up to level six, and just different numbers there. So let's look at the heavy armor kit and the uh, armor kit. Uh, these are overlapping. So, um, so your it adds to your durability by seven percent at level one. So you can level these things, and. Um, you can buy it. Um, I don't know that if that's gonna be the price on the live server. Obviously not. It affects only your bot. And when does it happen? As I said before, it's gonna happen throughout the game. And um, you can level this heavy armor kit uh, up to level six. So at level six, when it's maxed out, it um, adds your durability by at twelve percent, which is incredible. Okay, the next one is armor kit. It's an overlapping one, but it's at lower uh, percentage. I'm guessing that this one is gonna be the cheaper one or more affordable one. Um, it, you can level up this one up to level three and um, it affects only your bot, it's permanent. Um, same with the uh, heavy armor kit. Um, when you level this up to level three, it, uh, it adds your durability up to 6%. Next one here is a thermonuclear reactor and nuclear reactor. Okay, so let's look at thermonuclear uh, reactor first. And uh, it adds to your um, damage by 3%, just like the booster, but um, you just have it here once you purchase them. Um, it says it's, you can purchase it with silver. I hope that's what it is. And it's permanent throughout the game, just like the booster. And if you level them up, uh, you can level this one up to level six. And how much it does is um, at level six, which is maxed out, it does 8% of, it adds to 8% of your damage. And uh, this is the regular one, I guess, a nuclear reactor. And it, it only does 2%. Um, boost your damage by 2% but um, and also and you can only level this up to level 3 affects your own only your bot and then it's permanent um, yeah just level 3 and then it adds 4% so both take one slot of your passive module slots so this one is very interesting last hand because we don't have any kind of concept like this in the game and um, you become invincible uh, no one can hurt you for under um, in certain condition um, at level one at five percent of your when you have five percent of your HP uh, you become invincible for two seconds you're pretty much not dying for two seconds affects your only your bot um, defense activation it triggers when you have only five percent of your health at level one uh, immunity uh, lasts two seconds and let's max this out and see where we stand um, once it's level six which is maxed um, it triggers at 28 percent of your hp and it lasts 4.4 seconds and that's intense okay so this one battleborn is i guess this suits beacon rush a lot because what happens with this uh passive module is you get damage resistance just like how falcon has um it lasts for 20 seconds when does it happen um it happens when you spawn in so um you just follow the arrow 20 seconds and um as the description says uh 20 seconds so it's 20 seconds from the moment you spawn you have that damage resistance but you can obviously level this up to uh, level six and uh, how let's see how much resistance you have so level six you have 50 percent resistance and it lasts for 20 seconds when you spawn in and imagine that with on a falcon you already have the resistance and uh, yeah you can definitely defend beacons at that point so this is another attack module called death mark uh, what it does is accumulates um, your damage uh, 
uh, by ev uh, every hit and it activates when you start hitting the other guy but it only lasts for five seconds so when you're when you're in punisher and your um, deloading time is 16 seconds it only happens for five seconds and um, it accumulates but obviously with this one you can level this up to level six as well so it's because it's not permanent, it's a little bit different from other attack modules, but you level this up to level uh, 6, which is the max level, and it has up to 7 seconds. It lasts up to 7 seconds and does 16%, um, so it accumulates. And active modules, um, I've already talked about this in the other video, um, on the latest video, so I'll have that in the card um, if you if you want to look at those um, and those gameplay, uh, you can click on that and then watch these three uh, active module. This is the these are the module that you press. You actually have to activate them yourself, and then um, it's just kind of like additional skills. All right, so okay, so this is what it kind of looks like when you have the module. You you get uh, the three slots are the passive module. And then you have I have the uh, quantum radar on here. Um, this one also has three passive and then uh, active module slot. So I guess in on the uh, upcoming update, I think this is what our hangar would look like. Essentially, um, the Raven has only two, and then Hellburner has only two passive, and then one active module. Yep. And um, there was a bug in the game, so last stand bug where you actually um, become invincible for 4.4 seconds at max level at 28% when you only have 28% but apparently um, that didn't happen. I never died in Hellbrunner so I ended up ditching the game um, and it also happened with the Raker. I was trying to attempt, I was attempting to kill this Raker and it just just didn't die and I don't think this was part of the module um, I think this is just a bug so I wouldn't freak out um, but yeah that was a bug that I had so um, and Raker was OP for once and I'm gonna show you what I ran in the test server okay so this is the last stand and heavy armor kit hellburner I was running the death mark with the heavy armor kit uh, Raven uh, heavy armor kit uh, Falcon with the last stand um, I max all these out some of them are actually at level 1 but that's I maxed them out it just shows it as level 1 but um, here's a match and and this is obviously post commentary and I ended up uh, in Valley uh, with the Hellburner um, uh, I was kind of confused because um, I, w I wasn't sure if it was last stand that was kicking in or um, because since it's max it's 4.4 seconds and I w with the active um, module I'm able to repair myself so the hellburner this build I, th I think is I think it's way too OP I think it's too overpowered I think with the m active and passive module it has to be limited uh, somewhat um, because for example Hellburner already has a lot of HP and a lot of speed and if the durability adds on to uh, what Hellburner's strength is already I think it could be um, kind of dangerous maybe maybe even we, we could even see people run like five of these um, which takes away from the variety and looks like I'm not taking any damage net right now because of the last stand mo uh, passive module that, that's automatically kicking in. But I think it's I think I uh, I think that's there for like a long time. Like I think it's supposed to be there for 4.4 seconds. That's what it said. But um, and then I'm using the repair kit to boost my health back up. And then once once I get back down to. Uh, um, low enough health to trigger that last stand. It's gonna do that again like this and then After 16 seconds, I can restore myself and then last stand will kick in again So that is OP. So that's why I destroyed my bot here because I can last 
the whole match with those two combination of modules. So I don't think you should be able to put um, I don't think you should be able to put the last stand passive module with the repair kit on Hellburner. That's just a terrible combo. That's way too powerful. I have for this Raven. I have um, lockdown ammo as an active uh, module. So because Scourge hit 100% and with the 100% hit, I'm gonna lock down for sure. I was able to lock down uh, these two guys. Uh, uh, the invader back there and then obviously with the fury but he's got a lot of firepower so I was dead instantly and I dropped into my tanky uh, falcon it's already tanky but it's it adds to uh, its strength with the passive module and the active module I have on this is a quantum radar um, I pressed it and as you can see I was able to target that guy it was a terrible shot but um, yeah I was confused <laughs> So, uh, it looks like we have an Inquisitor with the Ember and Scourge. And obviously, I have a long cooldown with the uh, Quantum Radar. And, it's just uh, a certain combination that you can put. It's just way too overpowering. Um, so, like, if I really, really wanted, um, if I play really conservatively this falcon would not die because this has a passive module that is level 6 maxed out and also has um, uh, last stand and I think, what were the, oh heavy heavy armor kit so I have extra resistance and um, last stand so at this point I'm not dying I, I was able to take out two three players there and then what's crazy is if I had not put the quantum radar instead I put the restore kit I'll be back uh, my health would be bumping back up there so the repair kit active module um, uh, with the with the repair kit active module with um, last stand it's just a horrible horrible overpowering combo that I, 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 that I assume everyone is going to use, um, especially on tanky robots. You just don't die at all. Like there's no um, robot turnover. Uh, so it's what what could happen is just people just upgrading one thing and then playing that one robot the entire game. Obviously, other there's other module that bumps up your um, damage and stuff, but. Uh, it's this terrible thing, terrible combo. Here's another. Here's another match where I run my uh, run a old school hanger, and so basically the idea of uh, me running this hanger is basically a lot of thermo nuclear um, passive module and heavy armor kill module. So that Natasha is super tanky. This um, Gareth can pack a punch. This one, this boa adds, um, does more damage because it lacks a weapon in this meta and that Leo has uh, three heavy armor kits so it's extra tanky. So the point of running this is I'm just wondering whether old school uh, weapon, not the weapon, old school robots can benefit from the passive and active module, modules. But the problem with that is um, most of the old school robots, except for the Fury, um, they can't. Um, they don't allow you to uh, use active module. They they can only do passive module. But what's worse is um, they can only do two passive modules. Most of them, except for the Fury. So um, I think there might be a bigger gap. But. Uh, here is a match where I run the old school stuff, and obviously this this Natasha has a double heavy armor kit um, that's level six maxed, so it should be extra tankier. You you can kind of tell because obviously if you look at the health, it's like this <laughs> Natasha should be at level eight, but it's, it's it seems like it's at MK two. 
because because I'm running two passive uh, heavy armor kit on this but obviously I think that guy was running some attack module so he shot me twice and my health is like <laughs> down to like uh, 140k which is kind of insane and then the invader will be powerful with the module because you can put one active module and um, one active module and three passive like all the other new neurobots but the characteristic of that invader robot is already tanky it's got already lots of health with the suppression um, obviously it gets targeted because it doesn't have stealth but it is like a new form of tank it doesn't have a shield but you can that thing suppresses everything and, and it's gonna be a very good body you don't you don't see it right now in this live server because obviously people don't it's not their fighting style most people like firepower uh, I run multiple invaders because uh, that's that's what's fun for me but it's insane how um, this Natasha can be this tanky and I'll also have that Ansel shield so that just adds to more tankiness but there's a lot of plasma coming and, uh, and this is where I go yeah I think but it is but it is pretty tanky as you guys can see and I actually have a amazing run with this Gareth. Uh, I have a dark a death mat, a death mark passive module, which is maxed. So every it'll do. Um, I think it was 16%. It adds on. So let's say I do one damage, and then the next one is like I'll I'll, I'll I won't do math right now because uh, but. Uh, it accumulates 16% every shot so every shot is gonna be like crazy buffed for a certain amount of seconds I think it's seven seconds it's not it's not permanent throughout the matches I think it's when you engage for if you start to engage that's when it happens for seven seconds but I was able to I'm not targeted but I'm, I was able to sneak in and take that Leo and then uh, pick my next target which was the uh, this Bulgasari with the shock train and I was able to take this guy out with my shield as well and it's insane how uh, these bots what these bots uh, with older bots with the passive module can do but it's, it's it sucks that they only they can only carry like one or two whereas newer bots carry three passive modules so they, they will still be underpowered in my opinion, but um, you can somehow buff them. But it's just, I think it's just, I think for me, in my opinion, I think the meta does also depend on um, yeah, the meta also depends on what other people have, what people run. So it, the, the price of these passive module would matter as well. So I'll let you guys watch the rest of this. Um, I just I think I just go really aggressive at the end and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Uh, thank you guys for watching.